doing what most five-year-olds can, and all because of this, what Eddie calls his robot leg. Mum, can you get back to me? He was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer. His parents had to make the difficult decision to have his leg amputated to save his life. Yeah. Get, get back to me where we fall. The fear, what we have, thinking of it, you try not to think about it, do you? It's, like it's been hard. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I think you think, you don't try to think, you want to always think positive, but I think um, we're hoping that we have not put him through all for this for nothing. Because, as, you know, I don't want to be defeated by it. Are you ready to stand up then? Eddie became the first child in Britain to have a special implant through a procedure only before used on adults. Surgeons removed his femur, replacing it with an artificial bone. It meant he could have a prosthetic leg. So this is his hip joint, and this is the area where the muscles have been tied on to the end of this metal prosthesis. Doctors believe the technique could be extended to other children who've lost limbs. So children in a similar scenario where we can preserve the muscles but have to sacrifice the bone can use the same sort of implant. And it can perhaps be used at other sites, perhaps in the upper arm or below the knee. So it's opened a whole new idea. And it doesn't have to be for tumours, it can be for any other condition. Slowly. There's a high possibility Eddie's cancer will return. But for the boy who's had 45 chemotherapy sessions, his parents hope his ultimate example to others will be beating the disease completely and walking away. Adele Robinson, Sky News, Derbyshire.